Good morning. This is our last day in San Marino and we're actually really sad to go. And I think it's the first time on this trip so far that I've been feeling like I should have spent more time in a place. So I guess that's a good thing. But we're really excited for our next destination, which is Venice. Um, it's just going to be a little bit of a pain getting there. I think we have to take a bus, a train, and then a boat. So it's going to be a day. Can't find our Airbnb. It's a little hot, so they're sending somebody to come find us. Welcome to our B&B for the next four days in Venice. I keep saying B&B, we booked it on booking.com, but it is some lady's apartment. Uh, she and her daughter run it, so it very much feels like a B&B. We're not renting from like an established hotel change. Let me show you what a typical Viennese apartment looks like. So starting this way, that would be the door behind you. You'd walk in and I mean, it, it's a, not a lot of space. So you definitely see them try to maximize space and keep the room open. We've got two little love seats right there. Right out there outside of the window is the square of San Luca or Saint Luke. So we've got prime people watching opportunities. I'm really liking what I can hear right now. And by what I can hear, I mean what I can't hear, and that's all the people. So hopefully it'll be pretty quiet up here. We've got a little TV, um, about the same size we've had everywhere else. Free Wi-Fi, we've got some outlets down here, a beautiful picture of Venice. Dining room table with four chairs. This is the first time that I think we're probably going to be able to like actually cook and make some meals for ourselves, which is going to be great. Since this is an apartment, it's not a hotel, it doesn't come with breakfast. But that means we got to make our own breakfast. It means, for once, I'm not going to eat sugar. <laughs> in the morning, which is going to feel really good and hopefully be good for my gut. We're going to cook that breakfast over here. We've got two burners, a sink right here, a very, very, very cute space saving drying rack. So everything drips down into the sink. Trash can underneath the sink, which apparently we have to empty. Otherwise, we have to pay 60 euros if we leave it in the apartment we leave. A hidden dishwasher. We have a, thank God, <laughs> an espresso machine here so we can make our own coffee which would be great to have some coffee open with the windows and watch life go by in the morning. A microwave, which I didn't actually think they even had in Europe <laughs> up until this point. And then we've just got some, you know, typical cups come with me this way to the bedroom. Now I say bedroom, but there's one of two. We actually have two. This is a full, super cute, um, just a little small room. Our bathroom. So a little small, but it'll do. Bidet for those Americans who have never seen one of these amazing inventions. Big sink, really like the big sink. Very deep bowl, which means it's good for laundry. Tiny shower. Toilet. Sm small toilet. <laughs> bedroom two. Same thing. It looks like kind of a little futon, like a, a day bed. That's just in kind of bed configuration with a little desk. This is great because Bree's going to do some editing and it'll just, it just gives us some room to spread out, which is really cool. And that's our apartment for the next couple days. So the question is, who is sleeping in what room? Because you know we are not sleeping in the same bed. These beds are way too small, and Jeff likes to starfish way too much. <laughs> so am I getting the full? Or is Jeff? I have a I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Their name rhymes with me. <laughs> oh man. Jeffrey? All right. First night in Venice. Loving the apartment already. Just having the extra space has been great. And this is how we're spending it. Bree's uploading our video. I should say her video, I really did nothing for it. We're about to put on some TV while it's uploading because the internet is incredibly slow, which now that I think about it, watching a streaming oh. service is gonna slow it down, <laughs> but we'll figure that out. So day one was a success. We'll see you guys tomorrow.
So right now we're gonna get on a water taxi, and I don't know if I mentioned this when we got here, but it was roughly 68 euros for a three-day water taxi pass for two people, but you get a discount if you are under 30 years old. And I will say in general, probably not worth it, if it unless you're gonna explore the other side of the canal, which we didn't do much, so it was a little bit of a waste of money, but we're gonna use it today. Breakfast was absolutely amazing. We cleared our plates and now we're trying to walk off some of the food. What better place to do it than the Rialto Bridge? But it's a little busy. Time for a siesta. That was a lot of walking. It was beautiful though, hot. So we're gonna relax, let the crowds thin out a little bit, and then go out for some dinner. See you then. Dinner time. And so we're starting with some smoked brought in ham. It's a specialty of the Puglia region. Really hard to find. So it's butter and some parma. He's been kind enough to let me go first. That's amazing. So for dinner, Jeffrey opted for the truffle ravioli, which was tempting, but to be honest, since we've been in Italy, I haven't had spaghetti, and I just have to get it. You cannot go to Italy without getting spaghetti, so here we are, covered in Parmesan. Let's go. That might be the best spaghetti I've ever had in life. Really? No joke. Just put it down. <laughs> oh. that was amazing. So if you are ever in Venice and you see either Timo or Tiamo, we're having an argument about what the name of the restaurant was. Absolutely come there. Five stars. Amazing food. Now we're on the hunt for some cannolis. Holy cannoli. We got them. These are pistachio. I was gonna do coffee, but it is 10 p.m. and pistachio is always good. I don't even like cannoli, that's amazing. It is officially 10 p.m. on the dot. We're tired, it's time. See ya. So we bet the bullet and we're doing a gondola ride. 40 uh, or 20 minutes for 80 euros. 80 euros. Up and down, whatever. Oh well. Let's go. So there were four different options. We went with the cheapest one, which was 80 euros for just under the bridge of size and back and it's about 20 minutes 
and I assume there's just gonna be a line of boats, but we're about to find out for sure. So that's the bridge where everyone sits to take their photos of the Bridge of Size.